about 30, I kind of reach a crossroads, uh, both professionally and personally in my life. Uh, as an attorney, I was really struggling to find meaning in legal battles over money. And personally, I was experiencing a loved one's struggle with behavioral health and substance use disorder and experiencing how that impacts a family. So I decided to refocus my legal career on working with nonprofit data utilities, healthcare providers, and really innovative technology companies to provide services and build platforms that connect providers and people with the health and community supports that they need to live happy and healthy lives, no matter where they're at in their healthcare journey. And I found um, tremendous professional and personal satisfaction in pursuing work that meaningfully improves people's lives, um, impacts their healthcare and their experience with our healthcare system. And my advice to young professionals is really to seek a career a career path that resonates with what truly matters to you and has the power to create a positive impact on your community. I highly recommend reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. It's the real life story of the woman behind Gila. Um, Gila is the first and I think the oldest immortalized cell line used in scientific research. And her cells have led to the development of treatments for diseases ranging from cancer and Parkinson's to the flu. But uh, her cells were taken without her knowledge to develop that cell line. And until very, very recently, her estate and her family did not share in the financial benefits from the commercialization of her cell line. And the author does a fabulous job of using the power of narrative to show the impact of the American medical system on her and her descendants. And her story, Henrietta's story, uh, influenced the establishment and development of something called the common rule, which is the set of laws that applies to federally funded human subjects research, <laughs> including requirements from obtaining informed consent from patients to use their identifiable health information for research. Um, I love the book because it's a really compelling portrait of how the law, ethics, ownership, and business interests, as well as health inequities, uh, impact patient care and the advancement of that care. So I think one of the most delicious things to do during the really hot Arizona summers is to go to the cinema uh, where they blast ice cold air conditioning and you can kick back in one of those plush recliners and lose yourself in a story. <laughs>